Yo, what up, everybody? It's the Tech Playoffs, and we're back with another quick video. As you can see here, I have the iPad. The iPad, actually, this is the iPad Air, the new one, running uh, iOS 18 or iPad OS 18. This is the iPad Air with the M2 chip, 13 inch. So, this is the big boy. And this is also the previous generation uh, Magic Keyboard that I got off Amazon for a great price. Um, I've been getting Amazon licks lately, but this is iOS. I'm sorry, iPad OS 18. I'm sorry. There's a lot of uh, OS's that came out today, but this is, as you can see here, uh, the new setup. If I click on here, this is the new notification that you can see that you would get with the new OS update. Also, the icons, you can see they're changed. You can change this on iPhone as well. But on iPad, if you hit edit and customize, it gives you the options to change the icon colors. So if I want, I can pick my own color theme. That also looks cool. You can go dark mode, you can go auto mode or also light mode. But I keep it on dark because that's how I like it. But the color theme looks pretty cool too. I like that. If I go to dark, it stays dark. Um, like I said, you have these the normal UI that you are comfortable with. But this with the new icons... You can change them and put them wherever you want. You can place these things um, wherever you want it to go. Uh, you can just put four on the bottom if you want or two on this side, two on this side. So they gave you more of an option to kind of customize the UI uh, aesthetically with color also, but uh, giving you the option to just put these icons wherever you want. Of course, this is available on all other platforms like uh, Android. <laughs> it's been like that for many, many years. Uh, but it's still great to see it here. I'm glad they brought that over. Gave you the option to customize your iPad the way you want it. Just like the iPhone, you can swipe up on these uh, just quick icons here to access music, uh, HomeKit, stuff like that. Um, I've been running it on the iPad. Like I said, this is the M2 Air 13-inch, and it's been pretty smooth so far. I haven't run into any issues. Um, I know some people are saying that they did have issues with it. For me, it's pretty good, uh, pretty smooth coming in and out. Um, YouTube, as you can see here, I was watching a video. Uh, we're going to X. Uh, let's try Apple TV. Uh, let's go into the home and then the maps. As you can see, it's really smooth. Um, this is not overheating or anything. It still runs at normal temperature. Um, like I said, no stability issues. Uh, it's been running great for me. I know other people have reported issues, but for me, it's running great. I can't really complain. I'm not going to lie and say I do have issues because it's a beta. I'm surprised on how good it's running. Uh, Apple's been doing great with the betas lately. Uh, I'm sure my battery might drain a little bit, a little bit faster than normal. But other than that, it's running pretty good so far. Um, so I'm going to keep testing it. And uh, uh, if I find anything else, I'll make another follow-up video. But if you guys have anything you want me to test, uh, I can go ahead and do that. And then I'll make another video for you guys. But just a quick look at iPad iPad OS 18. If you guys want to try it, you can try it for free. Uh, right now, like I said, it's pretty stable. I've had no issues with it. But uh, like I said, if I find anything else or any other features, I'll make another follow-up video. But as always, thank you for watching the video. Have a blessed day. Peace.